about the temperature when you were making ice sculpture in the snow. In the snow? It's very cold. How did you feel when you entered the room? In the room? It's much hotter. The room is hotter than outside. Could it be that the duckling ice sculpture disappeared because of the temperature? <laughs> is that right? Let's go to the magical laboratory and observe. Practice your hands and brain. Let's create together. To, to the, the laboratory. laboratory. Let's, Let's go. go. We need to prepare these materials. Thermometer. Plate. Ice cube. Magic heater. Let's start the experiment. This is a thermometer which can measure the temperature. When the temperature rises, the fluid goes up. When the temperature drops, the fluid will also go down. This is a heater. It can heat something up. Look, when the heater is working, the temperature rises. Turn off the heater and the temperature goes down. Pour the ice cube onto the plate. Observe it for a while. Now, the temperature is very low, so the ice is not melting. Turn on the magic heater and see what happens to the ice cube. It turned into water! When the heater is on, the temperature rises, so the ice cube melted into water. The temperature in the room is higher, so my duckling ice sculpture melted into water. That's right. When the temperature rises, the ice will melt into water. Why is the water gone too? Where did the water go? Let's do an experiment to observe it. We also need an empty plate. Some water. Let's try it out. First, put some water onto the plate. Turn on the heater. The water is becoming less and less. The water is gone. Where did the water go? The temperature rises and the water evaporates faster and turns into vapor. The duckling turned into water and then turned into water vapor. So it can't come back. <laughs> Quacky. Actually, the water vapor can also be turned back into water. Really? How does water vapor turn back into water? Let's try it. We need these items. 
a bowl of hot water, a transparent lid. Let's observe. Look, the water is steaming. It's boiling water. Now touch the lid. Aw, the lid is very cold. That's right. Next, put the lid on the cup of hot water. Wow! Small water droplets! Many small droplets appear on the glass lid. How did these water drops get on the lid? These small droplets are formed by water vapor. I got it! When the temperature drops, the water vapor will turn into water! Water is amazing! It changes all the time! Quacky, water can also turn into ice. Wow! I'm going to make another duckling ice sculpture with water! Pour the water into the mold! Hey! But how can... I turn water into ice sculpture. Kids, let's help Quacky. Do you know how to turn water into ice? That's right! Water will turn into ice when it is frozen in the refrigerator. Put it in the refrigerator! is 